Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You, and welcome to part 108 of my Let's Play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. We just beat the hell out of Gaidal and of our screaming his head off. So Gaidal was running that ritual to eat into Fia. And we just blew him away with our woof eh, with our weapons. Yeah, it makes more sense in Japanese. So, God, I went and tried to kidnap Fia. And Avaro is going to carve into him just how big of a sin that is. Oh, there's the music. Oh, to think that we actually had this much power. Well, this has left him breathing rather roughly, but he's still got that smile. Like he's got another backup plan. <laughs> How nice, he's impressed. <laughs> so if he had gotten his hands on the goddess at this point, all of the keys would be in his hands. Oh, it's really too bad. I think we've broken him. Okay, what are you laughing about? As usual, you're a creepy bastard. So he's always got this smile like... He hasn't been defeated at all. Like there's plenty of space for him to get what he wants. Ah well, you know, his attitude, that kind of smile. But it's clear at this point that he doesn't have the power to fight anymore. So with this, the Gaidal Company is finished. You invited us here to your home base, and that was a mistake, wasn't it? And not just the company. Your little bloodline ends here too. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, do you plan on taking my life? You know, that's a good question. Philosophically speaking, we do have a claim against you. Just amongst our party members, I think there's five counts of attempted murder, two attempts, of, two counts of kidnapping, so many counts of aggravated assault, I don't even want to bother. There was that battle we had before where you, you didn't say you were going to murder everyone and, and enslave Fia, but that was probably your aim so we could count that up. And here you are trying to enslave Fia again. That's quite a list of crimes, and I'm pretty sure most negotiations, most uh, mediations, in consideration of all that, would say, yeah, you do deserve the death penalty. So, even after all this, he's not going to beg for his life. Well, since it seems he's never going to give up on taking Fia, yeah, we do think we're going to kill you. So, that is a wonderful killing intent you have. It's a splendid feeling and he feels it. Oh boy. Yeah, but it's really too bad. He can't let that happen. No matter what else he has to give up here, he can't let his li he can't give up his life. So with that damn smile of his. So the revolution cannot end here. The freedom of the humans which he wishes for 
which the dark refiners wish for, and their bloodline has to be carried on. Oh, great. So, saying that and dispensing something, our sight is blocked by a bunch of black clothes and we're cut off. So, Avaro's next destination would be the Elf Tribe's residence, Afaro de Aros. Ha! He wishes us smooth sailing on our journey. So, with those feet that trampled on his plans, head into the Fuchsia Faith's desperately hidden holy ground and, well, wreak more destruction. We're going to do it even if you don't tell us to. So there. And when the smoke clears up, he's gone. Damn it, he disappeared. But with this battle, the guide all companies leader is out of the commission. And this altar of theirs has been destroyed. We weren't able to get our hands on that knowledge that he said he had. But they won't be able to take Fia anymore with any rituals like that. Ah, wait. Before that... Fia! So, releasing her from the shackles that bound her to the altar, we stand her up. Alright, Havaro, everyone. Okay, are you alright? Yeah, and thanks for coming to save her. We're so glad you're alright. We were really worried. She's sorry. This is because she went and did that of her own accord. It's fine. It's not your fault. It was a trap laid by Gaidal. So let's head back to the castle. Our battle with Gaidal is over, so let's re resume our journey. Yeah. Okay then. Back in our party. So, thanks for watching and okay, just kidding. So, after this battle with Gaidal, we return to the castle safely. But Fia calls Avaro out with a serious expression on her face and starts talking in a little voice. So, you're not going to get angry? About what? Well, she went and did something on her own accord and got herself kidnapped and everybody had a hard time of it. If you want me to get angry, I can do that. But I think it couldn't be helped. It's not something you need to worry about. I've always always liked that. Being careful with her feelings. But there are times when she'd be happier if he told her off properly. 
なんで勝手なことをしたんだって怒ってよ She was a dummy and why'd you do something like that? Get angry Well Avaro decided not to trust what Avaro was what Guy Dahl was saying but that isn't something he can forcefully impress upon the rest of the party. That you want to know more about yourself, of all things that's natural. So are you saying that it couldn't be helped what she did? It seems that more than having her feelings being considered there, Avaro needs to properly tell her off a bit. That's kind of what she wants. So let's give her a piece of our mind what we're not happy about here. Well, that's right. Avaro thought so as well, just a bit. Even if it was just one word, you should have consulted with us. We wanted you to consult with us. Like, you've already stopped believing in me. That's what Avaro thinks. <laughs> Why, that's harsh. Hmm, didn't she ask for this? So, she starts crying. And it starts raining. So no, it's different. So her face breaks completely. And she runs into his chest. So what she can't believe in is herself. So shaking and weeping. She's crying so much it can't be mistaken for the rain. This is quite different from her usual self. So what's this all about? She doesn't remember anything about her past. She doesn't know what she was doing before she met Avaro. She doesn't know what she was thinking. And she's come to not even believe that what she feels is really what she feels. So her feelings and her sentiments and her wishes, she doesn't know if they are her own. Because of this not having memories thing, her own source, her own origin, she can't really believe it. She has all kinds of doubts about it. And this time, even though she didn't know anything, she got everybody wrapped up in another problem. And she's always been doing it. Taking I'm a god as, as the reason. She keeps convincing people to do this and do that unreasonably. <laughs> well, that's not right. The one who's been convincing people to do that has been me, Avaro says. So she's still shaking, but she denies it, shaking her head.
Avaro, thinking there may be a way to save her in the God's Haze, is heading there with that as his reason. Yeah, that's true. But in the beginning... <clears throat> In the beginning, it was because Fia said so. Isn't that right? Yeah. But if those words were things that were planted in her by somebody other than herself, then you can't really say that it's because it's the God's will. It isn't her will as a goddess. So then you're saying, and slowly, so quietly that the sound of the rain might wash it away, she keeps talking. So she's always, always been thinking of this. Why is it? She wants to go... So she has this feeling that she needs to go so badly. Even if people try to stop her, she has to get there no matter what and she can't give up. Why is it? Right when she woke up, she had that strong wish to go there. And we headed north. Even though she lost her memory, these, this won't disappear. If she says it, whatever it is, it isn't just a selfish desire from someone who doesn't know anything. It's a God's will. So, because this goddess wills it, we've unreasonably been trying to go there to the holy ground that's been closed off by the people of this country and the Fuchsia faith. If that was truly what she wished, then that would be fine. But when this shinks, she thinks that maybe these feelings were set into her by that human cloud who sealed her away. To know that she's been forcing these hardships upon people. It's hurt, it hurts so bad she can't stand it. It's true that we don't know the origin of Fia's impulses here, the impulse, the impetus behind her drive. So, we can't really say for sure that it isn't something that the dark refiners and Gaidal are behind. She's really afraid. Afraid to know about her own past. And maybe, since becoming one with the castle, she's caused trouble for various people even though she is the goddess of connections, she may have killed many people. 
自体を私は忘れちゃって今こうして笑っているのかもしれない。And maybe she's been able to laugh and play like she does just because she's forgotten her own sins. So almost like she's coughing her feelings up. Everything, all these dark thoughts in her come flying out. And the people who are just living in the castle, even though they're people who shouldn't have to fight, they have to bear with these terrifying situations and they have to go out and ready themselves for battle. She might be guiding people upon a twisted life, all because of some feelings that didn't even come from her in the first place. And maybe if they'd never met her, if they had never connected with her, they'd be more peaceful, they wouldn't have to be hurt. And they could be happy. She could be, she could be bringing unhappiness to everyone. Is that so? So, by these actions that were planted in her, may have been planted in her by those people of the past. It could be that she's hurting the people around her, everyone around the castle. So you've been thinking that. Well, everybody has a certain degree of uncertainty about whether what they're doing is right. But that uncertainty, to Fia, who doesn't have her memories, is an especially big problem. But, Fia, at the very least, I don't think of myself as unhappy. Having met you, and having become your lover, I feel it's happiness itself. But what if those feelings were made up too? How, how do you mean? That Fia came to love Avaro. Is that a true thing as well? So that she fell in love, that she went to make a contract with him. It could all have been actions that were planted in her. Just a melee, melee, just an order that was set in her to fall in love with the person who awakes you. There's no way that could be true. Well, that's how much she's unable to believe in herself here. When Avaro, when everybody tells her that they believe in her, her chest is bursting and it hurts so much. 
るかもしれないそれが何よりも私は怖い She could be deceiving everybody. That more than anything else, she's terrified of. Hmm. It seems that I believe in you when it said to her, it carries a lot of weight with her. And at the same time, Avaro as her lover and all of our allies whom we rely upon. Whenever we say these things to her, it means a lot. These connections that we built up so much, perhaps Fia's been making them because she was set with that kind of order. So, Avaro says he's sorry. He's been using her as an excuse. When we fought Miles Taria, well, really, when anything happened, because Fia wished it, Avaro would push through. He's trying to get his feelings through to her just a little bit. And he wraps his arms around her. Firmly putting power into it. Like she like he won't let her go. And Fia in his arms continues to shake. In uneasiness, in fear. It was very insensitive of me, and I'm sorry. No. Of all, everyone isn't wrong. So everything. It's all because of her. These decisions she makes that she can't even believe in. It's her. Navarro can feel the warmth of her tears different from the coldness of the rain. She doesn't even know if she can say to Navarro that she loves her, not from her heart. She can't trust Avaro or everyone like this. So there she's out with it. This fluttering, swaying, this indecisiveness she's really had from the beginning of our mission. And going to the God's hairs, the God's haze, scares her so much she can't stand it. So that's how it is. This is the real nature of this guilt she's feeling. Avaro wasn't able to catch on it, but that guy Gaidal was able to play on it to catch this uneasiness in her. Even though she's so scared she can't stand it, the prospect of knowing herself again. When she thought that she had an opportunity to know 
even though it was suspicious and she knew it, she flew right in. And thanks to that, she's caused trouble for everybody. So what is she doing here? She really is a fool. So she feels totally guilty about this. And she's throwing her thoughts on Dorvaro. So much so, Avaro feels like he's going to get lost in her uneasiness. It looks like Avaro too didn't understand Fia's feelings. Not even a little. Just like he said. Everybody's different in their feelings. And you can never come to a perfect understanding. After all, Avaro isn't Fia. But still, what of it? Avaro isn't going to change after all. Ah, uh, but because of that, here's what I think. Seeing you so uneasy and thinking that you can't believe in yourself crying like this, Avaro sees her as precious for it. Sorry for being unscrupulous about it. So, Avaro fell in love with Fia. But it wasn't because of he believed in her actions or because of her past or anything. What, draw, what drew Avaro in was because Fia was different from him. The way she thinks is different. Her mode of actions she carries herself with are different. And her disposition of caring about people, that's what drew Avaro to her. Sophia, Avaro believes in you. And because he loves her, he wants to believe in her. <laughs> ah, but... Let me ask you something. So, if you're following these feelings that we're planning in you, Do you feel that you were deceiving me when I came in and I freed you from the magic stones? Well, when she thinks of it that way, she hates it. Well, yeah, you'd hate it. But, Thinking like that, you're taking Avaro for a bit too much of a fool. So what are you saying? Avaro isn't going to fall in love with someone just because they entice him. No matter how many times they do it. No matter how beautiful the girl should happen to be. When Avaro falls in love, Avaro falls in love with the person whom he decides upon. So Avaro came to love Fia because she is who she is. Okay. 
So within his embrace, she struggles just a little bit. But the way she's acting like that, he still feels like it's another precious facet of her. She doesn't understand. What is she? She doesn't even know herself. Do you know, Avaro? Everybody, surprisingly, doesn't know themselves as well as you might think. They hold inside them an ideal of themselves, but they can't live like that. And they continue like that, struggling forward. They may fool everyone else around them, but the truth is always right beside them. When you try and act composed, when you try and act strong, when you try and act like you know everything, the truth's still beside you. You're not perfect and you don't know everything. Oh, so then, what type of person is this Fia that Avaro thinks of? Hmm. To put it in a word, you're carefree. What's that? Hmm. <laughs> Bad way of putting it. Let's change up. It's that you try your best to get along with everyone equally, no matter what their race. You don't give particular favor to certain human clans, that is to say, Gaidal and Avaro only. Do you think those are actions that they would have planted in you? She doesn't think so. That's right. That intention is certainly because Fia wants to make connections with people. If everything about Fia had been manipulated, certainly they would have said in this human clan as a priority for her. The Dark Refiners are that kind of gang after all. So Avaro, when he sees her being kind to people other than himself actually, he thinks, that's sweet and I love her. people other than him. So even if her feelings, sentiments, her actions were planted in her when she was sealed, your behavior towards people that don't even get along with us, the way you take them into consideration, do you think that would be something they would set? Yeah, Avaro might be right here. That's what Avaro sees as her true disposition. And that's what he fell in love with. He's certain of that. So she moans a bit and seems a bit happy and grips onto Avaro's clothes. 
もし昔のことを思い出したらそういう私じゃなくなるかもよ。But even if that's so, what if when she remembers her past, she becomes someone who isn't like that? Yeah, maybe when your past memories are revived, you won't be the same Fia as you are now. Perhaps remembering these sins of hers, she'll get all gloomy and depressed. But when that time comes, that's when it comes. Probably it'll be all right. What's that? That's not a very good reassurance. In this world, there is nothing that does not change. We have no absolute insurance of anything, and we can't say that any feeling cannot change. Right? But. To see another new facet of Fia, Avaro thinks he'd still come to love her. And even now it's the same. It's a fresh experience to see Fia crying like this. It's making him. making his heart beat. And so. Just like this. He can think of her as beloved because of this new facet. But he doesn't know that. He might come to hate her afterwards. That's a story of what might happen. First things first, Avaro is going to do his very best to come to love to the, that new part of Fia. So, Avaro understands that you feel afraid of going to the God's haze. But, Avaro. Wants to go to the God's haze to go to this holy ground because there might be a path where we can save your life there. Because he loves her, he doesn't want to lose her. Because even if there's just a little possibility, Avaro wants to go and grab a hold of it. If you went and talked to everyone, they'd certainly say the same things. Really? You are the goddess of connections. Don't you understand how people feel of you? Do you think that they feel you to be a burden to them? So she closes her eyes and feels the faith within her chest, searches inside of it. So what she finds there. Are the connections that she's made with everybody we've met on our journey. The first ones that come to mind would be the ones that fought by our side, our allies. So everybody's found a home 
on the castle. And they do their best to protect Via together. These are irreplaceable allies. So close we could call them family. And then there are the memories of all the people who are living on the castle. Certainly she feels that strongly as well. They had their various reasons for coming onto the castle. And amongst those reasons are also that the castle destroyed their own re their old residences. But everybody, even in the battles with the Influus Kingdom, with Maz Teria, and even with the dragons, they've decided to stay on the castle. When she closes her eyes, all of this comes to her. And the places we've been, Kumail Village, the Ravaged, the Withered Ravine, Rikbel, Raurosu, Nubeta Telmes, and where we fought the dragons, the Thunderhead Sea. All these places we've been, and all the people we've met, and all the people we've made friends with. And floating in the back of her mind is not only the people we've met through this, but also through our work as a, the Gualacuna Company. They're connected to her as well. So various problems have come up. And we worked together to fix them. We made lots of tools and devices and tried to improve the lives of everybody who came to us. And coming to understand each other, oh, there were also times when we failed to understand each other and times when we had fights. But this much we can say for certain. We, by meeting all of these people, have been able to move forward. Meeting various people, and they all come to believe in Fia in their own ways. The Gualacuna Castle has been able to move all the way to the foot of the God's Haze. So to think of all the miracles that have come by. Fia thinks of all the expressions of the people she's met. So, all of their faces are smiling. in talking to her and in relating to the castle so gladly and so happily. So she has her own gladness to think of here but also her own pain as well. Yeah, and she receives it. So, do you feel that these people that all believe in you, that they couldn't help it due to the circumstances? No. Their feelings that reach to her, they're all warm and kind. 
かもしれないそう考えるとやっぱり But she might be betraying those feelings when she thinks of that Well, it can't be helped that you would think of that painfully. Don't erase that uneasiness. Keep it close. You should be... You should hold it importantly. But just because there is a possibility it might be true, It would be wrong to keep your distance from everybody because of it. And anyway, has anybody ever said to you that they wish they had never met you? No, but... In that case, let's believe. Even if it hurts, Even if we suffer, let's believe and live up to everyone's trust. Okay. We can't absolutely say that what we're doing is right. Even if Aro doesn't think it's certain. And maybe in the past, Fia was a bad goddess. And we now are carrying on a villain's legacy, perhaps. But we're not mistaken. We want to protect the people we love. And that is absolutely not wrong. But in the end, it's the same that we have to fight. It's completely different. The Fia as she is now, as much as possible, she tries not to cause trouble to people. And she's trying to connect her way to the future. She really cares about these connections she makes. Navarro can't say that he'll somehow be able to fix this. Her being able to not believe in not being able to believe in herself. But he wants her to believe in him. Even if it's only believing that he loves her. And it has nothing to do with her past or the castle. Even worrying like this. Because she's worrying like this and worried for people and doing her best. I've always been, come to love her. So whatever Fia did in the past, even if she really was a vile god, Avar will be by her side. He wants to support her, beside her, always. So, at times when you're suffering like this, just tell Avar what you truly feel, if that's all that he can do for you. So, As these words sink in, there's a moment of silence. And she rubs her forehead deeply into his chest and speaks a little warm, a little more warmly in her voice.
She just can't compete. Avaro, after all, is just too kind. Well, that's because my lover is crying here. Of course I'd want to console, console you. Yeah, I'm not special in that regard. Fia, that she came to love Avaro is happy. So even if these feelings were planted in her, she doesn't mind. Even if they weren't, she's certain that she would have fallen for Avaro anyway. The connection that she and Avaro have, it's very warm and it's certain. So, saying that, she continues to rub her face in Avaro's chest. And he kindly puts power into his embrace and gently pets her. If we keep staying in the rain here, it's bad for our bodies. Let's go warm up somewhere. Yeah. She wants to warm up. Navarro, hold her close. Yeah. And I want to show you how much I feel. In a way other than words. Which basically means sex. So, I'm going to cut and I'll see you in a moment. MEGA POWER! And a skill. And another skill. Combo skill. Which means the other half of the combo skill. Himerareta kotai. 